Looking back at the Banjo series, Banjo-Kazooie the N64 platformer that I'm more nostalgic for than any other mascot game of its time. Filled with exceptional music, timeless sound effects, and my favorite hub world that's just littered with areas you can't access until unlocking strange new powers. This is one of the few N64 games I've actually finished. Granny's Revenge, GBA sequel with the Witch's Spirit inhabiting a mech, stealing Kazooie, and jumping back in time to make sure the bear and the bird never team up. Sure, it's top down, but all the staples are here as you gain powers, transform, collect jiggies, all with the incredible soundtrack playing from a tiny GBA speaker. Banjo 2 a sequel stuffed with content, though it features a much, much darker tone with death around every corner, but you can see reflecting their perfect dark experience with the childish platforming instead replaced with hardcore FPS action. Banjo Pilot started as a Diddy Kong racing sequel, but cuts out the overworld and other vehicles as it squeezes onto the GBA. Luckily, Diddy Kong passed along the fun flying and boost tricks with Cheeto providing new mechanics. Plus, Banjo's figured out a barrel roll is the best way to counter a blue shell-like item. Nuts and Bolts provided the virtual Legos I'd been dreaming of for years, but while I was laughing at all the jokes, it seemed like everyone around me was unhappy, which is strange when this genre accounts for half the early access games today. Should I finish any of these games? Let me know.